So, I got a little experiment I want to try today. If you've seen the Xbox SSD videos, then this is kind of a follow-up to that. If you haven't, you can actually see it right here. Basically what I'm doing is kind of stepping it up a notch with the drives. I have this Samsung 970 Evo NVMe SSD that uh, is actually going to be going in another build, but I do have a little bit of time and I figured I would take the opportunity to use this drive and do a little experiment with the Xbox One X. I have here a little NVMe SSD enclosure that basically turns it into an external SSD. It's a USB-C connection to uh, you know USB 3 or so I'm gonna put that in this and then plug this in, install some games, and then we'll see how long it takes to load them. I ran all the tests that I had time to run on the Xbox and then afterwards I reformatted it and put it in the PC that I was installing it in and it is now a couple weeks later and I am finally have some time to, to finish with my analysis. So it seems that there was not much if any of an improvement. Now I ran the same tests on the same four games as I did with the previous SSD test. As you can see, with the new external NVMe SSD, it is roughly the same result, I would say within margin of error, to the previous external SSD and internal SSD test. You may notice that Fallout 76 has a noticeable increase in time from the original test. Just for that very reason, I reran all of the internal SSD tests to see, and lo and behold, there is Something that changed, now all of these games obviously get updates and loading times may be affected by that, and in this case it did. And as you can see, the a retest of the SSD is actually even longer still. So we're still looking at roughly the same results as we had with the previous SSD. I won't go into too great a detail on the differences between USB 3.0, SATA 3, and the respective drive speeds. Maybe I'll save that for a later video and I'll go into further description when I have an opportunity to do further testing as well. But what I will say is that I believe the SSD and the interface speed is close enough that when putting in an even faster drive, it doesn't make a noticeable difference. Given the minimal test, it's hard to say, but what I can say is just on the surface, an NVMe SSD is not any faster than a standard SSD used externally. So take with that what you will. Regardless of any future tests or any other results I get, the one thing I can say definitively, it is very impractical to use an NVMe SSD as a drive on an Xbox. I mean, if you can argue it, please do let me know. I'd like to hear what you have to say about it because there may be elements that I still have yet to learn. But as far as my knowledge to this point, an NVMe SSD just has no business being in an Xbox. Now, that may change in the future, but that's where I'm at for now. So this is not as comprehensive of a test as I would have liked to have done, but just given my limited time with the resources, that was all I could do. I'm glad I was able to do that much because at least it gave me a little bit of insight as to you know, how it performs. What I would like to do is do further external testing and find an interface for internal testing just to see where it goes. Obviously, like I said, it's impractical to use an NVMe on an Xbox, but you know, when budget allows, see what we can see. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you've been enjoying these little Xbox videos and I am going to be expanding. So it'll be also PlayStation, uh, probably not Switch, but uh, it'll also be PlayStation 
that I will be doing some hard drive tests on to see just how easy the PlayStation is over the Xbox. But do hit like and definitely subscribe if you guys are enjoying these videos. I know there are a lot of people watching these, but not very many are subscribing. So uh, if I get more of you guys subscribing, you know, saying that you want to see more, I will definitely be motivated to do more. But that's all I have for this one. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. And until then, enjoy some Let's Plays.